In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reference using Microsoft Word. Now, the first thing you need to do is um, up the top here, navigate across to references. And um, what you're looking for is in this middle section here. Now, the default, when you do go into it, it'll look like this, it'll say APA. But for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, I'm going to be using Harvard. Now, the first thing you need to do when you've got your information here is to actually create a citation in the first place. Now, uh, I'm going to use scenario one first, and I'm going to do the example of in-text referencing. Um, now, with the citation here, so it's in quotation marks, meaning that it's not your work. It needs to be referenced. So I'm going to click on insert citation. And again, the first time you're using it, it'll have book as the default. However, when you click on it, you've got a whole variety of... Uh, different sources you can use. So for this one here, I'm going to just keep it as a book. Okay, and what it's done is it's already actually created for you that uh, in-text citation. So because it is a direct quote, you also need to now give us the page where you found it from. So what you need to do here is um, hover over it and you can see it sort of changes color. Click on it and this allows you to edit it. Now, click on the little arrow here and then click edit this citation. And it says add pages. Now let's for the sake of this scenario say that this quote was found on page 56. Click okay and it re-edits uh, it for you. Okay, now the next um, sort of scenario you need to do is, uh, if you're just paraphrasing, now even a paraphrase needs to have the citation because it's still not your work. You've just adapted someone else's work. So, for example, this one here, Smith states that Microsoft Word is a great way to help you reference your work. Okay, so again, we'll go to Insert Citation, and this time we're going to say that it's a website. Okay, and uh, it's created the citation for you now. Because it's not in direct quotes, uh, you don't have to put the page number down. Okay. So that's how you uh, in-text reference. Now, in order to get your bibliography um, generated, all you need to do here is click on bibliography. It's just underneath here, bibliography. And then you get to choose whether or not you want a bibliography or a works cited. Now, the difference in this is a bibliography will generate everything that you've got saved in your citations list. And I'll show you what that is in a second. If you click Works Cited, it will only generate using works that are actually in your written piece. Now, before we decide to do a bibliography, I'll show you that um, Citation Manager. So if you click on Citations, this is a list of everything that is in your, um, basically in your little uh, bookshelf, okay? So if you're, you find that you're gonna use the same uh, one over and over and over again, rather than retyping it into the insert citation section, you can just, uh, you know, for the sake of this, let's say that you also got this from uh, Bradley Jones, you just double click and it automatically inserts it for you. Now, um, in terms of uh, managing this, if you click on this little cog down the bottom and you click citation source manager, it opens everything up for you. Now it shows you, everything on your current list. So this is everything that's actually on your written work right now, okay? So if you were to, if you can see there, so you've got Brown matches up there, Jones matches up there because we've added it in just then, and Smith matches up there. Now, if you were to click Works Cited, it would only include these three here. But if you were to include Bibliography, it would give you all of these. Okay, um, so for the sake of this uh, example here, I'm gonna actually click on uh, bibliography. It'll have all of them. Okay, so if I click on that, it's generated everything here. Okay, now the only issue with this is um, anytime you want to uh, re-add something, it doesn't do it automatically. You need to click on it, click on the little arrow, and then click update. Okay, and that'll then regenerate it for you. Uh, the only other thing that I'll say about this is it looks very clunky. So in order to format it a lot better, 
um, just click on each individual line and um, leave a space between them. Now that's not you know critical, but it just makes everything a bit easier to read. And the only other thing is to move these in uh, as well. Okay, so bring these as one flowing line as opposed to three individual lines. The only other thing I'll say is if you then need to change the style you use, uh, all you've got to do is click up here and say, for example, you want to change the APA, it will automatically change the way that it, reference, uh, that it references for you. Again, click on Chicago and it'll change. Click on Turabian and it'll change again. Um, so there you go. Hopefully the um, information here was uh, useful enough to help you utilize Microsoft Word to create citations.